What's up? It's Mufasa right here. Um, just a quick um, video on how to grid a transition track in Engine Prime using the new FlexiGrid feature. Um, firstly, uh, I'm just going to pick a track from a library. So this track goes from 128 to 104. It's clearly written there. You know. Um, so first thing you need to do is to kind of line up the first auto-generated um, grid. Uh, you know, make sure it's sitting pretty. Not quite sure where the downbeat is. Maybe it's on the tip of the screen or somewhere there. Anyway, doesn't matter that much. Um, so once you're pretty happy with that, just line it up, drop an anchor there. Boom. Uh, for some reason, this point is not lined up properly anyways um, so um, you zoom out and no matter would zoom out I know it's at 128 so just to save some time I type in 128 there you can see everything else lines up jump in here um, scrub forward so usually most transitions will start around this point which is the ninth bar so I will just drop an, another anchor there, just so that I can start monitoring things from there. Let me just make sure this cue point is lined up properly. So it's already started shifting by this point. So we'll go back to that place. Point. I think it's somewhere around here. It's gonna put an anchor there. And so it's right somewhere there. Let me just zoom in so that you guys can see. So the next one is there. Next one is here, I believe. Next one is right there. Next one is right here, somewhere there. Can't really make out with this green. Let's just see. I think somewhere there because it's a, this song is not that busy over there, but. I think it might be right. Let me just delete that one. I don't think it's on the right spot. I'm gonna try to use the to line it up so that every other thing lines up properly like I'm using this as kind of like a guide I know the beach is somewhere there but I can't really the color way you know I'm not yeah this one is right there sometimes it's quite obvious you know where the beach is just looking at it visually um, so you stick one there and I know the last one is going to be, yeah, it's right there, uh, something not right, you can see this is alright, this is not too good, but never done. So I think at that point, number 17, we should already be sitting pretty, hmm, it's a strange one. They're still transitioning at this point. Anyways, let's take one day again. It's still slowing down. Let's take another anchor there. Let's take one there. It's a good measure. Uh, if you want to get really in out with it, you can do all the middle ones as well, but I don't bother. Next one is right here. That is 23. Yeah, you can see 22 kind of lined up good. So that is 25 should be somewhere there. So that's one problem. Sometimes it's 
you try to put a marker there and it doesn't place it where you want it to be. So at this point you need to give engine prime a hand by moving using the plus minus once you're pretty happy like that. Just get in there and boom click. Another wayward cube marker. So from there I know it's 104 to the end of the song. So at this point I could just put a flat 104 there and you can see. Yep, everything is perfect then. So go ahead and lock your track. So dot is fine. Let's see what it looks like. BPM starts going down. That's it, all done. And the song is ready to be used on your Prime players, your Prime Go, Prime 4, Prime whatever you got.